Wow. It's 5.41. And we just got in port. I believe you have to go there. We're kind of like turning around. I don't know what happened on this cruise. But this whole side of my nose hurts so incredibly bad. Even though I really loved this bed, honestly. I feel like I like broke my nose somehow while I was sleeping. I'm stuffy and I can't really breathe out of it. It just hurts. Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. It's obviously uh, time to disembark the allure of the seas. Couldn't really sleep. I'm just really excited to get up in the morning here and um, get our day going. I'm so stuffy. I don't know if you guys can tell. I can't really breathe out of my nose. I don't know what I did. Nothing really opens until 6 a.m. How often does that happen on a cruise ship? Meaning you're up before anything is really open. Although it looks like stop. Nope, they're not open. 6 a.m. This is a really cool spot on the promenade. If you come here on the Yeller, you can kind of see everyone dancing, everyone having fun. Look at that. It's all ready for uh, us to get on off. I'm gonna go to the cafe promenade here, just get a few bites, coffee, and then we're gonna head off. Look, these guys are already ready to go. I thought I would be one of the first lined up. Royal Caribbean ships here at Port Canaveral, I'm not really too worried about because I believe they have the face ID for uh, getting on off the, the ship, which is gonna be nice and quick. So I'm not too worried, and we're going for self-assist, which begins at seven, could begin a little bit earlier too. Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. We're going to begin the, the journey home, as well as kind of give a review here of Royal Caribbean. It's Allure of the Seas. Looks like the Cafe Promenade isn't opening up quite yet. I guess they are pretty strict here. Six. Looks like the water is turned off. Also, too, there's already people lined up. It's more than an hour until we can actually get off. And this process is so quick. No need to do that. Not calling them out or anything, but just saying, save your time. Enjoy the last, like, hour or two on the ship. Or last meal, if you count coffee as a meal. And more people even lined up. I always I always find that so silly. But hey, to each his own, right? To each his own. You know, maybe it'll be good for us to know when we can get off. If you want to get off really early. Because it seems like as soon as maybe we attach, we're good to go. So maybe I'm the one that's out of the loop here. And those people are smart. Because so I'm trying to get home before Casey leaves for work. Because I haven't seen her, obviously, since since Friday. And uh, I got to upload the video <laughs> for that you guys saw on Monday. And I don't know how long it's going to take. All right. Goodbye, room. For some reason, too, my backpack feels heavier, heavier. Even though it's only got, like, a mug in there. That's... In there. Everything else, I... I already had. It's heavy. <laughs> Little cruise tip here in the morning or just like actually like at night. Make sure you don't slam the doors for obvious reasons. Let's go find out if they open getting off a little bit early. Seven o'clock is like the promise time. The dreaded sign. You can get off on either side. The other way actually has a really long line over here. Doesn't. Got a parfait as my last food item here. Strawberry parfait. Boy, oh boy, do I have a story for you guys right now. 6.57, we are leaving, but I just had something scary kind of happen. Let me get off the ship. I'm very thankful for uh, the party behind me. They helped me out a ton. They're moving quick. Moving mighty fast. Sad day. I just had probably something super embarrassing happening, but it, it oh, let me let me get like a more controlled environment. Memories made. Where to next? Central Orlando. What a gorgeous sunrise. Expected nothing less. The last of the stairs. Unfortunately, we're all the way up on deck five. This is nothing though. 
Okay, let me tell you a little bit of what happened as we're, we were going up the steps. All of a sudden, in, in line when I'm standing there, like everyone's around me, you know, I decided, to go, I decided to get in line after all, which was smart, because it started getting really long. Oh, we're already here. We went up those stairs faster than I thought we were going to be. Hopefully my car is still here. It should be. See you, beautiful. All I gotta say is, before all this, thank you to the family behind me. You helped me out a ton. Car's still here. I've made it home and uh, Casey's over in the next room. We made it before she goes to work, but I gotta I gotta tell you guys about what happened this morning because it hasn't happened to me in like forever or like ever, honestly. And as you can kind of hear, I'm congested. I don't think it's because I'm sick, because I'm not sick. And this whole side absolutely just burns and hurts so bad. And I was thinking I slept on it wrong. Like I was, uh, telling you guys this morning it just was it was throbbing and as you can hear my like the way i sound it's just uh pretty bad but i had a pretty embarrassing accident when i was waiting getting off the cruise ship now let me set the scene so obviously we were down uh, in the promenade waiting to get off and the line was getting a little bit long so i hopped in line for about 30 minutes because it was good it was starting to wrap so i was like we're gonna get in line right now so i got in line and um you know they they made an announcement that they actually delayed but they moved everybody up so now i'm kind of like surrounded by everybody there was the key people and i was in the middle and there's people to my left so there's people everywhere you know it's a cruise ship and we're all just sitting there and it's quiet and i'm just like going like this itching my face itching my nose and the next thing i know it i uh am like dripping blood from my nose and i bring up my phone i'm like what the heck is going on? I I must have had a scab here on my nose, and I, I I'm telling you, I lightly itched my nose, and a few seconds later, all of a sudden, I'm dripping blood. I'm like, holy cow, this is so embarrassing. Like, I, I don't know what to do. I don't get bloody noses, so I knew it wasn't a bloody nose. I really feel like I got bit by something, and I scratched the bite mark or whatever that already had scabbed over, which is a pretty little scab, but it was like oozing out. I don't, I don't really get pimples, so it wasn't like a pimple scab. It's definitely a bite. I must have gotten bit at, at night while I was sleeping or when we were at perfect day, maybe even NASA too. And as I'm oozing out blood, I, I go to my left and there's a Royal Caribbean uh, team member over there. I'm like, hey, can you help me? Oh, yeah, real quick, real quick. So he brings me back like tons of napkins. I still gotta clean it out of my bag because I was sitting there on the floor like this, kind of like, oh, this is so embarrassing. People are staring at me. The people behind me, shout out to them. If you're watching this video, shout out to you guys. You guys were so kind and helpful and thoughtful. She, she gave me Kleenex which was better than the napkins. I thought it was wet wipes at first. I was like, oh, is this wet wipes? That, would have per that, was, that was perfect. And then it was, it was Kleenex, which was just as good as wet wipes. And then she also gave me a little, um, after everything was calmed down, which took about 15 minutes of me just holding, you know, the um, Kleenex to my face, oozing out blood. I was a little bit worried. Like I still kind of am because I'm very congested and this side, if you can't tell, hurts really bad and is really red. Um, Never experienced that before getting off a cruise ship. And good thing it kind of happened when it did because imagine if I'm walking off and that happened while I'm getting off the ship. That would have been terrible. So I'm very grateful for when it happened. So I was still able to get off in time to see Casey here and just be here and able to upload for you guys on that video on Monday. But it was quite the morning here. I've never had that happen before and it was embarrassing, but I'm thankful I had some very courteous and thoughtful people around me that, that helped me out. <laughs> see me just dripping blood, it was, it was bad. It wasn't bad, bad, but like it's just embarrassing. I don't really like when people are staring at me when stuff like that happens. I can take it when people are staring at me when I'm vlogging, but yeah. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this. This is definitely a bite. I don't know what bit me, but it's really sensitive to touch. It kind of feels like someone just went bam. And yeah, that was my embarrassing 
story time on a cruise ship, which um, wasn't that bad compared to other things that can happen. But yeah, now I think I'm going to kind of just do a, a review of the Allure. It's also on the solar eclipse. So I want to see if I can uh, go get the glasses at Publix and head on out to go see the solar eclipse sometime today. I think it's peaking at like two or something. I gotta look at the times, but we, we got plenty of time. It's not even nine o'clock here this morning. Whew, that was a lot. Hope you enjoyed that. There's Casey. Hi. She's getting ready for work. <laughs> and excited about it. Okay, so while I was gone, I actually ordered a few packages, one for the house and one for the future of the cruises. Before I had left, I had told you about a uh, charter that you can actually bring on ships. But for some reason, it didn't work on my Disney cruise, even though it's worked on the past. Here's the Tassan charger that you can actually bring on cruise ships. I'm gonna link it down below. So if you guys are going on a cruise, especially on the Lure, this is kind of needed, especially if you are having more than one person. It's allowed, and it should be. This is a little bit more updated than the one that I lost, so I guess I will test this out on a future cruise to see if it is, but it's the same thing, so it's a little bit different though. I think it should be fine. But that's not all. Why do I feel like this was gonna be a lot heavier? I feel like I might have ordered something the wrong thing. Hmm. One thing I didn't have for the house is a hose. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is not gonna be good. Look at this thing. It's actually a piece of junk. Well, I think I'm gonna return that. I don't know. Does anybody think I'm not going to take this out until I like, look, it's like, I feel like this is going to like fall apart in an instant. It's like rubber. I guess I'm going to have to go to like a store to order a, a hose. This does not look like it's good quality. I got to say one of the best things about coming home from a cruise is doing the wash personally. I mean, I said, you know, it's doing the wash, but I like doing the wash after a cruise and then just kind of chilling for the remainder of the day. I did run some errands off camera. I went to Publix and then I went to Walgreens. I couldn't find any solar eclipse glasses, which I feel like I probably should have ordered them. So we don't, um, I'm not gonna be looking at it. I can't film it. Um, I'll probably just look outside, but I'm kind of scared to do that just cause I don't want to burn my eyes. <laughs> but I'd asked on Instagram, um, if you guys had any questions about the cruise and you guys came through. So we're gonna start it out with how would you compare it to Icon on the Seas pros and cons? Oh, sorry guys. My nose is so stuffy and like, I guess it could be allergies too combined with this bite. I have no idea. Um, if you were following along for some of the videos, I was kind of doing live pros and cons. The ones that can come to mind is obviously the, the Icon of the Seas is a beautiful shape uh, and beautiful ship and it's in shape. Oasis, it's a little dated, but I was so impressed with the overall ship as a whole compared to Icon. I like where the Aqua Show is in the back on um, Oasis, or sorry, did I say Oasis? Allure, Oasis class, my bad guys. Um, but I did like how they can control the environment for the Aqua Show, so there's always guaranteed to be an Aqua Show, but I felt like I had more of a wow factor for the Aqua Show in the way back because they're diving from so much higher. It's just really cool, obviously, very hard to beat. The food was good on both. I, I just was very impressed with the allure of the seas, like very impressed. And I can't wait to see what they do for next year as well when it goes into dry dock. I'm gonna have to go back on for sure. Entertainment was good. I, it's, it's just the icon is so expensive now that if you wanna go on a good cruise, allure is it. And even so, it's from 2010, I'm telling you, it competes with the icon. I love it. Oh, your son began uh, uh, vlogging, any advice? Yeah, um, some advice just to keep at it, keep learning, keep talking to yourself on camera, you'll get used to it, and just, you'll, you'll find your niche, you'll find what works, and whatever works, stick with it. Gosh, I sound so bad. Whew, for someone who has only cruised a DCL, will Royal Caribbean be a disappointment? 
absolutely not. You'll be on the ship and you'll see a Disney cruise and be like, oh, I love you, I love you. But Royal Caribbean has just so much to offer with drinks, with entertainment. There's not that much kids. I mean, there are kids. There wasn't a lot on the allure just because there isn't too much to offer for kids in my opinion. It was more of an adult cruise, but that's gonna be changing in 2025. It's a good ship. Give it a chance. Give Royal Caribbean a chance. I would, I would go big, start big. That's my advice. Start with a big ship. Did you meet any new friends on the ship? I did. Um, if you guys were watching the whole series, um, well, I mean, I only filmed one. I like to keep people off camera that I meet and just, you know, like I had some drinks with a lot of you guys. It was more of so of you all who were there and it was just fun because that made it feel less like a solo cruise. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still felt like I was solo, but um, it was always cool to kind of just run on into people and you know, I, I spark conversations with people all the time. <laughs> Why do you pronounce Allure wrong? I pronounce a lot of things wrong. For being an older ship, how does it compare to newer ships like the Wonder? It, it holds its own. It holds its own. And I was very surprised with that fact. Very surprised. Some places you can see the dates of the ship, but other than that, it seriously was spectacular was spectacular and it's gonna be going out in Miami, I believe sometime this year. And then in 2025, I believe it's gonna start going out in Miami as well. Three to four night itineraries. I feel like I should have done a four night, but three nights was was perfect for me. Ooh, is it like Disney where you get just seated by others? No, you can request to get um, sat by yourself somewhere or uh, you just don't show up to the main dining, but I've never really, I mean, when there's tables of two if you if you guys saw or you you're familiar with royal you sit pretty close to the other people but it's just you know you or you and your party whoever you're with um but yeah i'm never worried about going on royal and not sitting by myself they do they do a good job on it and um i really like this ship guys i really did i feel like it does need a little bit more thrill and they're gonna be taking care of that in 2025 at least that's what i think we're gonna get lime and coconut we're gonna get the updates that we've seen on the oasis i think they're just gonna kind of carbon copy it on the oasis and what we've seen on that ship but i'm really happy i got to experience its glory that it's been since 2010 and uh it's actually one of my favorite ships it was it was fun it would be more fun with other people so the cruising can be tough at times but you find ways to kind of spark conversation with people just roam around the ship is fun and eating i ate a lot on the ship and i can confirm i didn't gain any weight i actually lost weight and i feel like i ate so much i ate a lot on the ship for like my standards of eating and i lost weight and i think the no stairs or sorry the no elevator challenge helped a lot with that so um quick little video here we're just gonna wrap it up here and um, i'll see you guys tomorrow we have adventures around here in central Orlando, and I can't wait to take you guys on the next journey. And thanks for being here. Welcome back from everybody who's been on spring break, because I know this is like a peak spring break period, and I'll start seeing um, more people kind of start tuning on in again. April's a slow month for YouTube. Also, if you did start a channel, also the one who asked me the question about what to know about being a YouTuber, it's a roller coaster. Up and down. Get used to the ups and get used to the downs be appreciated of everything you have so with that um, we're gonna wrap up this cruise video and uh, hopefully my nose feels better by tomorrow so with that I'll see you guys tomorrow and that was it for your daily nose peace out hope you have a great day